What's going on to the shoguns of YouTube? This is Bruce Elbell, known as TGM Show Nuff, to bring to you Omni Heroes. What's Omni Heroes? And this, in this mobile contraption, what the freak is this? Well, I actually want to show you guys a bit on what this game is about, and just to give you guys a little bit of an overview of what Omni Heroes is, it's actually. Uh, it's a, well, let's just put it this way. It's an idle RPG. Uh, it's a really cool one at that I personally enjoy it. But again, I just want to give you guys a bit of an overview and uh, just give you guys a, a bit of a taste of what I'm doing in this game and what really has been occupying my time just quite a bit. Um, so first off, Omni Heroes. It is a idle RPG. If you are familiar with games such as Raid Shadow Legends and, of course, the Eero G style anime RPG, uh, <laughs> Queen's Blade Unlimited Limit Break, which is a game that I quite enjoy, you definitely want to check out Omni Heroes. Well, what what got me is the artwork, the whole presentation, the factor of all this. And, of course, you'll definitely see what they say is called the 777 Valkyrie Summon. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, I can't really remember the name. Let's just call it the 777 Summons that you can actually acquire. But I will explain that a little bit later, much later. And I'll also provide you some guides on this game as well. Or rather, I'll put some links in the description field in terms of who you can go to to check out. And uh, maybe you can just come back to this YouTube channel. You can check out some of the, you know, some, you know, what my progress is in this game. And a little bit of the updates and what's to come and all that good jazz. But again, Omni Heroes. Let's check it out. So I want to go over to the Synergy Archive and just show you guys what, you know, how these, uh, you know, you know, what you're really dealing with here so you know of course you have your synergies and more so you have your uh the, you know three types of synergies you have your summons um all of them are really cool while most of them are just kind of like eh you know what i'm saying so let's go to mystifiers real quick uh give you a bit of a rundown for what they are uh this is not what you're going to start off with to really be honest with you so you're not going to start off with the mystifiers more so you're probably going to start start off with uh well you'll you'll see um, so the mystifiers, you know, these characters here that you see, you know, uh, the grant dot damage, ignore defense and continuous team healing. If you were to actually, uh, pair these characters together, this is what you would get here. So of course you got Catherine, which is, uh, she's one of the, the Royals that, which is, you know, your special summons in this game. You got Catherine or you got Catherine, you got Bastet, you got Emily, Medusa, Monotar, these are really, first off, I'm going to let you guys know, the cool character designs is what going to really get you, man. I am super serious when I say this. The characters looks absolutely phenomenal in this game. No doubt. Please ignore the, <laughs> please ignore the stuff, man. Uh, you got Monotar, you got France, you got Dullahan, you got Percival, he looks like a octopi joker and I, I, I i'm not really fond of him but uh <laughs> you got us or Asi, you got talos these are really cool designs man They're really cool characters however uh most folks have been really kind of groveling about mystifiers because uh you know the dot damage is really great but it's not that damaging so in order for the, the other team to die you know you have to live and nine times out of ten, if you face off against a Glorian or an Ethereal, yeah, they're they're just gonna one shot you. That's all I gotta say. Valianters, this is basically your, you know, I would say, I wouldn't say basic, but you know, they're they're, uh, you know, this is pretty much what you're gonna start off with. Diana's gonna really be your first summon in the game. Spoilers. Um, Grant uh, power damage or P uh, PDMG. Boost to the team, which provides high damage at the start of the battle. Marlena is a great character to have if you were to ever pull her, man. She's really, really cool. Nyx is nice. Diana is really cool. Themis is a character, I would say, that you really want to start off in this game. She is really the first character that's going to present to you. It's going to cost you a dollar. If you have a dollar, you know, on deck, all right? I'm letting you guys know right now. Pick this character up. She is extremely extremely good at the start of the game she is absolutely just hands down a character you want to have on your team so you can get you it's, it's kind of like when you do get her you kind of get to know 
uh, how the system works. And it's just only a dollar just to get her, man. Seriously. Of course, you also get you some nice gear. And you, go, you can actually kind of like equip with her too. Really cool character, man. Definitely check her out. Ashlyn, she's really nice. Atropos is a really, really good character, man. Really good. Victoria, oh, I heard some great things about her, man. Kind of looks like Wonder Woman a bit, but really cool nonetheless. Balloon is a really nice character too. Gerald, and of course you got Macaria. She kind of reminds me of Android 21 with her design. Ithros, grant crit bonus to the team, which provides continuous burst damage. You got Portia, you got Eudoria, you got Ellie, Anubia, Dorabella, uh, Katrina. Uh, you know, you got, oh my gosh, I love you brothers. Uh, Mastima, Karnak, Bjorn, and of course you got Brutus, man. These characters absolutely are fantastically designed. I love Portia's design. I don't have her yet. Eudoria, she kind of looks like Scarlet Witch, but she does have two swords, man. Really, really cool design. Um, Ellie. Anubia and Dorabella. I really love uh, Ellie's design. I really just love that. I, I just love everything about this game, man. Really, really cool. However, don't let these looks fool you because some of these characters are cool and some of them you have to really kind of work with. Anubia is one of those characters you have to really work with. Ellie is really nice to have because uh, if you do get her early on, definitely use her if you can. As long with Dorabella and Katrina paired very well together, man. Really nice. Karnak is uh, is a royal that if you do get him, don't be stupid like me and pass him up the first time. Get him because he is a hot character. Seriously, definitely check him out, man. Really does some really nice damage. Bjorn is really cool and Brutus is nice too. He's okay. I'll put it to you that way. Galorians gain initial initially gain control immunity, debuff enemies, and just simply slaughter. Yeah, I'm gonna let you guys read that there. Uh, Cause the reason I say that they just simply slaughter, cause Naui is absolutely just a monster until you get Seraphina. And that, that's all I'm just about to say there. Seraphina, if you do get her, if you're lucky to get her, oh, 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 good luck. Naui is another character to have. Yasuke, I love his design, but he does not do anything else except for, he's, a, he's just a tank that has, that has a long survivability, if you will. Yeah. Corolla scares me. Really nice character. Really does damage. But she scares me. Read her lore if you get a chance. Because this game's lore is absolutely phenomenal. Lily and Leah, she, they're, they're just simply uh, in slang known as the twins. Really nice. Talanis is really cool. Clotho does some extremely good heals. Gwen is really nice. He is a really good character. And Marina, uh, definitely the little, you know, has that little mermaid vibe there. But definitely check her out. She's really cool. Avengers revive upon death, which grants high sustainability and strongest over time. Mavis, Janna, Ardina, uh, those three are your um, royals. Adelana, she's really nice. Persephone is a really cool character. Selene, I mean, just paired very well with Solomon, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Oh man, a force to be reckoned with. Lachesis is really nice. Albert is cool. Solomon, there you go. Boji, you're gonna see, you're gonna summon this character a lot. Use him as food. Eat him, okay? <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> that character just makes me cringe at times. <laughs> You'll see why. He's great nonetheless. Great reflect. I uh, good tanking skills, but that's just about it. And of course, Doomsdayers. Reflect damage, deal uh, reflects damage, deal damage when enemies take action and counter attack. Now I haven't really messed around with this team very much, uh, especially with Doris, Sylvan, and Athena. Most people don't like Athena. I, I I have messed around with the standard. Not necessarily a fan of him, but nonetheless, these are cool characters. Love the designs. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce her name. Let's just say her design reminds me of Morgan. She's really cool nonetheless. Merlin, but I haven't really played with her. I haven't seen her play. But Merlin is really nice. Halios is a really cool character, man. Uh, I say around eight stars. He's, he's really, you know, you see him start to shine just a bit. Bao is really cool. Uh, pretty cool um, as well. So, but there you have it, guys. We're just going to just want to go over a bit of what you're getting here. This is basically your teams, you know, your uh, factions here. So, rather, this is your 
vac synergy of course you got your faction and your rune synergies i would go all day long talking about those but i will probably do like a three-part just to give you guys what my thoughts are with these synergies and of course uh you know give you you know maybe my thoughts and views on what to do because i'm really also going through this game i only spent a dollar in this game really i have four accounts so let's just say i spent four dollars to be honest with you i haven't really spent much but i i really laud those who are enjoying the game and are spending monies because they are really you know putting forth some effort to really allow the developers to just do what they can to really improve so I will give you guys a full review on this pretty soon. Go ahead and collect this really, really quick. Boom, got some goodies. And uh, yes, I do have my my overall damage uh, power at 103 mil. I only played this game for two months, man. And I'm letting you guys know that it's really cool. Really, really cool. So guys, that's all the time I have for right now. But check out Omni Heroes. I highly recommend it. I will give you guys a full review over at my website. Of course, I'll be doing a three-part uh, video to talk about these factions here. You guys definitely check this out. And of course, you will definitely see some more videos in the future regarding this game. I'll give you guys some updates, get you guys stay in the know. But do me a solid if you can. Hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Stay in the know. The content is being uploaded right here on to this channel because your boy is back baby yeah until then you guys be blessed and i'm out man show enough thank you guys for watching